So hello everyone. I'm here to talk with you today about dimensionality within Sage Intact. If you don't already know, dimensions are one of the most crucial, critical core features within Intact that make it such a powerful tool for businesses. So let's jump right into it. What is dimensionality? Dimensionality, in its essence, is a new way to track data. It allows users to slice and dice their financial data to whatever their specific needs are, streamline their chart of accounts, and tag transactions uh, for whatever the business is trying to track, whether it be locations, different departments, lines of business, employees, etc. And you can see here, we started off we're on a page, this company, Firm A, has three different departments that it's tracking by. Um, and again, you can track with an intact by multiple different dimensions, um, in dimensions that can be repurposed and even user defined dimensions if there's something above and beyond what intact has that you need to track for your business. So let's go into a journal entry I started here. You can see I'm recording a cash deposit to the bank account and some management services fees. So you can see I'm recording this revenue across four different lines here in four different departments. But not only am I tracking across four different departments, I'm also tracking by employee and customer all within the same entry. So the beautiful thing with Intact is I can come in here and instead of having to have a separate chart of account or having to do Excel manual Excel reporting um, after exporting this journal entry data, I can come in here in Intact, make my entry and immediately say out of this $15,000, $3,000 is for my is revenue to my admin department uh, for my employee Jim Joyce to customer AAA engineering and can and so on and so on for lines three and four three four and five so you can see the entry is very easy and again if I wanted to add location say I even wanted to get granular to the point of this was line two was for the Palm Beach location and line three was for the Southampton location I can do that as well now what this really does is it helps you eliminate coding combinations. When you move to Sage Intact, you can get reports how you want to see them, again, without having to export to Excel or some other tool to do uh, allocations or tracking. Simple clicks can show you the data you need and track transactions easily with these different department, or excuse me, with these different dimension tags. So if we go and look at a dashboard we have set up here, you can start to see some of the power from the data entry. So you can see in this uh, firm A example that we have, we have uh, different companies set up that roll up to different legal entities. So in this example, or in this dashboard, we have a profit and loss with all six companies listed, but companies one through four are assigned to legal entity one and companies five and six are assigned to legal entity two. And you can see here quickly, and then both legal entity, excuse me, legal entity one and two all roll up into firm A. So you can see again how quickly you can go from having very granular data to rolled up data in your reporting, and you can drill right down into the details. So if I'm looking at this marketing expense here, I can see that there was, this is my $900 entry. I can see the department it was tagged to. I can click down on it. I can click down on it again. I can see the actual underlying bill. If I wanna look at the bill, I see it was $4,800 for marketing. I had an allocation assigned to it that was allocating it across all these different locations based on my specific needs. Again, very powerful. With a, from a couple clicks, I went from my high-level reporting all the way down into my underlying, underlying data to see how this allocation was handled uh, based on the transactional entry. Another example here, it's a little more of a common example maybe, is by department. Most companies track by department. So here's a, uh, a custom report that was built within Intact showing expense by department. Again, having those department tags allows me to slice and dice the data and look at an expense instead of by all my departments and having to do a manual Excel um, reporting to get this data. I'm doing my tracking within Intact and then being able to report on it within Intact. And really what this does is it gives you flexibility to your finances, quick access to the underlying data, and speeds up the decision-making process by allowing you to keep your data separated without sacrificing simplicity. So to end up, I just wanna stop with a quick example and say, if you had a company with five different departments, which is reasonable if you think marketing, admin, finance, HR, and services, using 100 different GL accounts, if that company didn't have 
dimensionality tracking like Intact provides, they would need over 500 GL accounts to track the data that they need at the level they need. Now, this is a very basic example, as a lot of companies try to track data by more than just a couple departments or by just a GL accounts in a couple departments. Again, customer, employee, line of business, all things that a lot of businesses track. So I hope you found this video useful. Please follow us, Reinheimer Baker, on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter for more great videos and blogs on Sage Intact and other new exciting financial tools.